and I are a spirit we have a soul and we live in the body when God created us he went into the dirt and he put his hands created our body and then when our body was created God breathed into our body a breath word spirit in Hebrew is raw or wind or breath so God breathes his spirit into our body and the Bible says man became a living soul your soul and your spirit are so mysteriously intertwined that there's they're actually kind of together though they're separate the Bible says the Word of God separates the soul and the spirit but in reality they're together and many times the Bible refers to your soul and your spirit as a heart that's why when you see in the Bible many times a heart is refers to your soul and your spirit because it's, they're almost like together. When you die your spirit and your soul they depart from your body and that's what death is. Where death is separation. Death is not a funeral. Death is separation. When we are separated. So you and I have a spirit from God. When we are not following Jesus Christ because a spirit is given to connect to God, our soul is given to connect to humanity and our body is given to connect to the world, the physical world. When your spirit is not connected to God, it's dead. But when you come to Jesus Christ, your spirit becomes alive. Your spirit becomes new. There was a gentleman who came just recently to our church and he went through some very rough things and he was a religious person. He read the Bible a few times and last Wednesday he gave his life to Jesus Christ. And he was crying and weeping and after about 10 o'clock he calls his mom and says, Mom, I have to tell you something. God did something to me. I'm alive. I'm new. And she was kind of freaked out because he called at 10 o'clock. And if you call your parents at 10 o'clock, you know, it's usually not because you are saved. It's usually because you're in trouble. So I talked to him and he said, Vlad, I'm alive. I was like, well, it's obvious you are alive. He says, no, not body alive, spirit alive. That's what happens when you get saved. You become alive. The part of you sometimes you don't even realize is dead becomes alive. Your spirit. Amen. How many of you experienced that? You know what I'm talking about. So that is your spirit. So your spirit came from God. Your spirit, the Bible says, is a lamp of the Lord. Means this is the place where God communicates to you. This is, your spirit is like your mailbox for God. God doesn't dump or throw his messages in your backyard. He doesn't throw it into your physical ears. He throws it into your spirit. Your spirit is the connection point between you and God. Can somebody say amen? Your spirit can be developed. The Bible says about John the Baptist is that John grew strong in the spirit. So your spirit is, it must be growing, it must develop, it shouldn't stay in the same place. And one more truth I want you to write down is your spirit can endure sickness. Your spirit, the Bible says, it can sustain man in a sickness. That means when your spirit is strong, your spirit affects how your physical body operates. Many people can endure through enormous pain and can overcome and actually cancel pain by the strength of their spirit. There's, uh, there's stories and I remember one story about, um, about Roger Benningster and he was diagnosed with a terminal illness in England and he couldn't walk because of that illness. And something happened is that not only he chose and said, I will be able to walk. He made a declaration to his doctor. He said, I will run. He can't walk. He's in a wheelchair. But because a man's spirit is focused, is strong, it's unbeatable. That mind is sharp. He began to take those steps. At first he fought. He fell so many times. He was so disappointed emotionally but mentally he was still strong until he managed to stand on his feet and barely walk. He said, I will run. He started to push himself and run. He started to run. And this man was the first man in the history of the world to break a record of running a mile under four minutes. You have to understand this record of running a mile under four minutes was declared by medical doctors impossible to break. In some Olympic games they even had or in some games they've had people painted red and they've sent bulls after them to make them finish a mile under four minutes and they couldn't. And this man who was diagnosed with a terminal illness overcame that barrier. Why? Because every barrier in life first must be broken in your spirit. 
every barrier in your health must first be broken in your spirit many people their barrier is not in the ring it's not in life it's not in the family it's not in the finances it's not in the business it's not your poor upbringing it's not your education it's right here